Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you because it is time for Saturday's Soup, our collective reach. Guys, you know, I hope you try to use the energy in a positive manner. But if you don't, we love you anyway. And let's hit this. Clear and ground for the soup, please. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, we taught me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Saturday Soup. All right, guys, show me the energy. If I'm not speaking about you. It could be somebody in your in your energetic environment. And let's see who and how we're going to have somebody out there today. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Saturday Soup. Please and thank you. Okay, you have an ace of swords. Well, I love the Ace of Swords. It's my favorite Ace, actually, because that's the truth. And it, the truth will set you free. Some kind of clarity in a situation, some kind of breakthrough. The facts, the facts, the facts. Show me. Show me. How? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Oh, okay. So it could be coming from somebody who's a bit younger, maybe, or somebody who's very um, free spirited. It's the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This can be somebody who's very charismatic and living in the moment and very passionate, maybe in for a good time, not for a long time. Maybe somebody's going to see the truth about that. Let's see. You have a page of pentacles at the foundation. So there was some kind of offer or some kind of beginning, some kind of solid beginning that had deep roots. It's the page of pentacles. This could be something that you manifested. It could have been a new job as well. Some kind of new financial resource. Something that you were building. Show me. Yeah. You have the... Oh, the King of Pentacles in reverse. So, this could be somebody who's greedy and obsessed with wealth. This person is unreliable. This person is, yeah, not going to put any work or effort into anything. This person might even do criminal activity. Show me. King of Pentacles in reverse. This is not somebody that's very good with their money. They're not very practical. It's not a solid energy. It could be somebody who's jealous. Somebody who doesn't follow through on things. Somebody who's in financial ruins. Delilah's snoring. Somebody uses Morton Salt. Morton Salt, I'm seeing. <laughs> hey, Delilah. Okay. Somebody also might like to go skiing here. Oh, listen. This person could be specifically Capricorn. This person could have a lot of toxic attachments. What am I telling you? This person... Yeah, look at this. This person could spend their money on any kind of addictions, like going to strip clubs and making it rain like a sugar daddy, but they don't have any sugar, really. They don't have a window to, to throw the piss out of. They don't. This person is obsessed or greedy, like I'm saying. This person could be... Um, yeah, the devil. I mean, it's the devil. Anything you can think of the devil to be, this person wants some kind of control or something has some kind of control over this person. This person is wasteful. Like I said, possessive. This person's got an entity attachment, all right? Something like a gorilla on their back. I'm telling you. Show me. He's playing straight up greed. You might see the truth about this. Like, you see what I'm saying? This is the clarity that you're going to be in here. It could be like you're dealing with somebody who's immature and in for a good time and not for a long time. I don't care what kind of solid offer was made here. Or, or, you know, this could be a boss too, right? Somebody's toxic-ass boss that's losing the company or something because they're acting like an immature jerk-off. And maybe in the beginning, the job offer was solid, but let's see where this is going now. Somebody's toxicities are taking over the show over here. Show me. Yeah, look at that. You have the nine of swords. Somebody's trying to be resilient. Somebody's trying to be resilient. Somebody's not giving up here. They're being persistent. They're trying not to take no for an answer. So this could be you like trying to hold on to your job. I will tell you that. Remember I told you that this person has some kind of toxic entity attachments? Like it could be sex addiction, going to strip clubs, making it rain. Did you ever hear of something called a glory hole? This person could be going to sex shops like in seedy neighborhoods and, you know... Sticking their appendage in glory holes. If you don't know what a glory hole is, go look it up. All right? This is like some kind of sick, twisted parasite. Somebody who spent all their money on sex and drugs. Something like this. Don't let this person get any kind of control over you, whoever you are. 
Because you're sitting in the land of truth over here, all right? And the truth will set you free. Free from this toxic energy. Yeah, all right? Let's see what else is going on here. Somebody could have... Listen. Somebody could have something like some kind of venereal disease or something like this. Somebody might have herpes. But what's going on with this person? I Willie, really, look at this person. They could have herpes. They could have some kind of twisted appendage. Do you see what's going on? They're sticking the... It's something. It's the devil. It's the devil, okay? They're broken, busted, this person. Unreliable. This could, this could even be a crooked cop, okay? A crooked-ass cop, I'm telling you. Ugh. God knows there's enough of them. And I'm not saying anything about the good ones. I'm saying there's a lot of bad ones. And even the good ones know that. Okay, look, you got it. The king of cups came out in reverse. All right? This person is emotionally manipulative. This person is immature. This person is, oh my God, this is an abusive person. This person, yeah, they're clingy, they're insecure, they're all up in your business, they want to control you. It's, uh, oh God, it's the King of Cups in reverse. Somebody who cheats and lies and blames it on you, they take no responsibility, they don't take no for an answer, they got all kinds of diseases going, look at this, they got uh, at least herpes on those lips, I don't know what kind Twisted appendage. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't be laughing. I shouldn't be laughing, but you know, if you're in, yeah. I got a feeling this person deserves this. I really do. Anyway, oh God. Okay, so let me see what's going on here. Anyway, whoever you are, stay away from this person before you, before you start looking like this. Look at this person's face, okay? Before you start catching their diseases, whatever this is. Five of Swords, yeah. Stay away, stay away. It's conflict. What's in the environment, the actual environment of this whole entire debacle? How am I supposed... This is interesting for Saturday Soup, though. I'll tell you what. What guy... What guy... Well, I'm going to say guy. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. All right? I know this guy's watching me, too. What person... What female in the neighborhood is doing this? Okay? Because if it's a female, they're not the one sticking their appendage in the glory hole. They're the one on the other side of the glory hole. Something like this. Okay? Maybe that's why somebody's mouth is like this. I don't know. I'm hearing twats and thoughts. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Twats and thoughts in the neighborhood. Oh, my God. Here, yeah, come on. Uh, what is in the environment? <laughs> Guys, somebody might have, like, several babies' mamas or babies' daddies. This is the one, man. They're yeah. <laughs> swinging their schlamadong all over the goddamn place. <laughs> oh, I feel so sorry for anybody dealing with this. Get away from this energy. We got Popeye or Pink Eye or... Somebody shot a load in somebody's eye and somebody can't see. What is going on? They're not going to take any responsibility for it. Forget about it. The King of Cups in reverse. Somebody got seven kids. Oh, God. Six baby mamas, something like this. Yeah, Page of Cups. Well, look at here. You could, listen, you could be dealing with it like somebody really immature here. Now, the Page of Cups in and of itself is not a nefarious energy and, you know, this could be about, like, new feelings, or somebody could be finding out they're pregnant here. It's a page of cups. Immediate clip. Oh, God. So you could be getting some kind of good news. Or maybe just to yourself, you're feeling, you know, innocent and free and kind and whatnot. But some of you are just dealing with somebody really... Maybe this person is younger, okay? And they're just coming out as the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups in reverse. And I'm sorry to say the guys, the guys, I'm not trying to pit out the guys. I'm just saying it's a king. That's a masculine energy. You know what I'm saying? Feel me? You feel me? Okay, so give me another one. This person's feeling everybody. That's <laughs> why. Yeah, it was dirty, dirty, dirty. Okay. I'm hearing Dirty Diana. Oh, who's that? Michael Jackson. Dirty Diana. Six of Pentacles. With the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's going broke giving all their money away. All right, look. The Six of Pentacles is when you're generous, right? And you're benevolent. And you're supportive. And you, this person might need some kind of material help or support. Or some kind of financial. This could go two ways. This person could be being so generous with whatever little shit that they do have. Which is not much, okay? Getting themselves deeper into the red. See the red? Deeper and deeper into a hole. Spending what they don't have. Sticking their, you know, appendages. <laughs> In some kind of hole here. They're going in deep in a hole. It's a rabbit hole, okay? Because they have addictions. And it looks like some kind of sex addictions, if you ask me. In the meantime, you know, and because of that, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is, you know, reckless spending. This is superficiality. This is, you know, material instability. From being too generous. Being too generous at the strip club. Make it a rain, make it a rain. Being too generous at the peep show. Sticking on, you know, whatever we're doing. 
And if we're on the other end of that, you know, I don't know, not getting paid enough, whatever, being too generous. Whatever this is, this is being generous and going broke because of it, because we're being superficial. We're acting like the King of Pentacles up, right? We're acting like we got a window to, you know, throw our piss at him, but we don't have a pot to piss in to throw it out the window. You know what I'm saying? Now, this person could be, like I said, Capricorn. Hi, Capricorn here. This is the biggest, the biggest, <laughs> the biggest. <laughs> uh, I'm hearing Mr. Big Stuff. Who do you think you are, Mr. Big Stuff? You're never going to get my love. That's right. So if you know who this is, never give them your love. Wow, Mr. Big Stuff. That was way back, way, way back, okay? Just because you wear all those fancy clothes don't mean you're a big shot. Something That Mr. Big Stuff song is the song. Like somebody was front like they were Mr. Big Stuff. Who do they think they are? In the meantime, their car's not running. They maybe got fancy clothes on. But they were, I'm going to pop some tags. Only got $40 in my pocket. <laughs> They're popping tags at Salvation Army. Yeah, this is what's going on on Saturday too. Who is this in the neighborhood? Twats and Nuts. That's what it is. Ah, Delilah, what are you doing, baby girl? Okay, we're going to stop putting the loser up here. Give me a break. Anyway, Four of Swords. Listen, somebody needs some kind of rest and recuperate over here. Somebody really... Yeah, somebody needs a break from this. Somebody needs to heal. This is what the Four of Swords is. The Four of Swords all day, every day is about healing. It's about nurturing yourself, loving yourself, okay? And then contemplating your next steps forward. From whatever truth it is that you're about to find out about twats and thoughts over here, okay? I'm really serious. Or Mr. Big Stuff. Whoever this is. Morton Salt, I said. Yeah, save it for a rainy day. What is this? <laughs> oh, my God. Show me what do we have here. Now, this is... Oh, the hermit. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. My card is what? Fucked up? That's so bad. Look. Somebody needs to rest, recuperate, and heal and face themselves. Somebody here... Needs to do some friggin' soul searching. Look at this hermit. This hermit is sitting down. It's drunk as anything, right? It's about to burn his hands. Somebody needs to get a grip on whatever devil entity attachments. Gorillas on their back. <gasps> That's it. This is the hermit all day, every day. This is when you sit down in solitude, even if it's under a lamppost, okay? <laughs> and you try to figure your shit out. You take your lessons. And you take your experiences life and you transmute them to your high, to your higher power so that you can vibrate higher. And, and, you know, it's also about a spiritual enlightenment. It's about enlightenment all day, every day. And with this, you know, with this knowledge, you could go out and help other people. You really can. You can, like, be a beacon of light or set an example. But you need to heal and figure your shit out. Somebody needs to heal and face themselves here. And this could, this energy right here could be this energy... Maybe they are addicted to sex, drugs, rock and roll, sticking in whatever, wherever, right? Some kind of emotionally abusive, immature person here that overspends and overgives to everybody else, but in the meantime is going broke doing it. You know, completely unstable energy here. This person, rocket man. This person's a rocket man. Yeah, out there somewhere. This person's out in space. Okay, let's see what's going on now. So we have Virgo energy. What else do we have here? We have Capricorn energy. A lot of earth here. But I mean, you have everything. You have wands, pentacles, cups. So, it's whatever. The only nine... Is, I don't see too much thinking going on around here. All right? Except for the truth is coming out and somebody's not giving up on something. So, if this is the person that's not giving up on being toxic, it could be. You know, they just want to be emotionally manipulative. They're never going to stop. This may be the person that has to face themselves. If it's not... Then this is you having to come to terms with the fact that you need to see the truth for what it is and let the player play from Malaya go. Okay? Now, there are plenty of fish in the sea. See that? Plenty of fish. Go fishing out in the sea. Don't go on plenty of fish. That's a, that's a that's a pond. That's a cesspool. But, you know, it's an analogy. Okay? Page of cups. You could go out there and fish till the day is long. You don't need to deal with this. I'm seeing a lot of ocean water. Somebody needs to go by the ocean. Show me some more. Oh, boy. The Knight of Swords. Well, this is about the truth. This is about being straightforward and direct. The Knight of Swords is brave. The Knight of Swords is honest. The Knight of Swords may be impatient and a little perfectionist, but they're very intelligent. They know how to articulate themselves, and they see the truth for what it is. Somebody might... Oh, listen. It could be raining. Somebody might offer you to come under their umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. So, Rihanna, right? 
You might have destroyed. Somebody might have to come in and listen. Somebody might have to come in and clearly like say something here. Like somebody might have to tell somebody you need to face yourself and heal whatever toxicity and bullshit this is here. So you know, or if not, somebody might come and tell you you need to heal, face yourself and heal, get away from whatever toxic person this is. So either way, whether you're the toxic person and you know, listen, we all have our demons. Or you're the person dealing with the toxic person. The point is, the fucking toxicity has got to go. End of story. So whether you're facing yourself on any level here, that's a good thing. Heal. And for others of you, just go fishing. <laughs> this is what. Okay, now here we go. What do we have here? There's a three of cups in reverse. Meaning somebody might feel lonely or isolated. Somebody here might not want to just go out and play with the other children. This is a struggle, okay? This is maybe an imbalanced social life. Maybe that's what's going to happen now, you know, because you need to take the time and be by yourself for a little while. You can't be out making it rain in all kinds of clubs and doing God knows what over here. I can just tell you the things that are in my mind I can't even say here. You know, it's not always, a, yeah. All right, so three cups. So that's okay. It's okay to feel like you're off balance, especially if you're clearing up toxicity. Whether you're getting rid of somebody else's or your own, it's going to, you know, it's about spending some time alone. So maybe our social life right now is not going to be the best for a minute. But, you know, really, there's always time to go fishing. There's always plenty of fish in the sea. Somebody I mean, wears one of the, a beanie hat or some kind of a um, baseball cap backwards or something. Yeah, last but not least, we have the Five of Cups. Yeah, because there's going to be some kind of lost sadness and regret here. I mean, that's the end of that. All right? Look, it's a ten of swords. It's, a pain, it's, a, it's an ending. Something's over, good, bad, or indifferent. Now, could it be the relationship with the toxic person that wants control over probably you, but can, cannot have control over anything else because they're a hot mess here that overspends and overgives? Yeah. Or could it be an end of the toxicity? Whatever it is, it's a painful ending. But thank God for it, okay? Let me tell you something. If you don't let go of the old, you never get the new, Okay? And the best times of your life have not come yet. So put this to bed, the Ten of Swords, whatever this is, it's rock bottom. Okay, somebody's going to hit rock fucking bottom here. That's what the Ten of Swords is, right? Rock bottom. That Titanic is sinking. But because they're going to hit rock bottom, there's nowhere to go from the bottom but up. Do you understand that? So this is going to give somebody healing, hope for their future, some kind of renewal. It's a fucking miracle. Somebody's going to get over there. Somebody's going to actually overcome the devil, all right? There could be conflict around this, though. Five of Swords. You know, it's not going to be easy. There could be people that don't want to see this person get better. You know, really. We have Aquarius Energy. You completed this cycle. There might be some legal ramifications or some knowledge sharing. This could be institutionalized, like going away to a place, a facility for help. It's going to be feeling like the weight of the world on somebody's shoulder. It's not going to be easy. It's going to shock the shit out of somebody. But then justice is going to come in and somebody's going to be able to rebuild and they're going to turn into this emperor. And then they're going to have this nine of cups. Nine. I don't know why I say nine. It's nine. A nine of cups. They're going to have success, contentment, and wishes come true. And new beginnings. All right? So there you go. There you go. So whatever, you know, whatever this is, there's lots of places for help. You're going to hit rock. Somebody's going to hit rock bottom. Whether this is you or them, uh, they have to. But the only that's what you have to do. You have to hit rock bottom so that you can rebuild again. I mean, with the bionic, bionic man, we can rebuild you, but better. And then you will start to rebuild something. That field is yours. You can start. And you have an empire. Somebody taking control. It's going to bring you success, happiness, emotional fulfillment. And it's a new opportunity. You're going to have a new beginning after this. You are. So it's beautiful. You had the world. You have to have the fool after that. And this new, this new opportunity is going to be some kind of miracle. It's going to bring some kind of inner clarity. It's going to give you hope. Some of you might be in the spotlight. <coughs> it might cause trouble, though. Somebody's very strong here. I mean, look at this emperor. Look how strong this emperor is. Somebody might want to start doing some kind of bodybuilding or physical exercise to make them stronger. I don't know. Um, you know what? Let's get you some of these right now. Yeah, you know what? We're not even going to do that. This is what we're going to get you. We're going to get you a positive affirmation because it was a long reading. You have Virgo. You have Aquarius. You have Taurus. You have Capricorn. You have Aries. Yeah. This is unbelievable. Here we go. Positive affirmations. If you can't say a positive affirmation, which you should, make up your own if you don't like these. I don't care. It's about energy, frequency, and vibration. So if you're speaking positivity out, 
That's the energy. You're going to pick up on a different frequency and vibrate at a higher vibration. Three, six, nine. Energy, frequency, and vibration, right? So let's raise our vibrations. If you cannot say something, you know, positive, <coughs> excuse me, then, excuse me, then at least try to think of things that you are grateful for. So, <coughs> sorry, I'm choking to death. So that you can set the intention for the day. The intention is then the attitude of gratitude. So let's hit this. Give me an affirmation, please, and thank you, spirit and ancestors. <coughs> All of a sudden, I'm choking to death. Yeah, today I, <coughs> I am compassionate. I will reach out. Listen, guys, I need something to drink. Hold on. Wow. You know what that felt like? That felt like I just breathed in like a, a big thing of dust. Today I will reach out and help another person feel better about themselves. And there goes Tiberius. And somebody made mention when Tiberius barks like that, that's confirmation. So be compassionate. You never know the burden somebody's carrying. You can't tell what's going on with somebody just by looking at them. Okay? And I'll tell you something else. Hold on. <coughs> <coughs> Somebody doesn't want that out. Well, fuck you. We're trying to send a tempo. Listen, a smile hides a lot of pain. So somebody might smile. You might not even know what the hell. Okay? And I know that because I'm like that. No matter what's going on with me, I got this big huge smile on my face. Nobody ever knows, right? So just be kind and compassionate. You get more flies with honey than you do vinegar, right? Yes. Yes is the answer. Can I have another positive affirmation? Yeah. Today I feel worthy. Today I will accept all the wonderful things in this life. The bottom of this deck today i am receptive today i will let go of the past i will live in the present and i am looking forward to a bright future hold on <coughs> oh my god all right here let us raining here so all this stuff is coming off like i can't breathe again all right so here we go i'll be fine now. don't even worry about me this is my whole life so something could be happening on saturday look at this saturday i got this Clear as day here. Wow, so Saturday's actually been spelled. Okay, so we have two I's, two E's, and two A's. We have three I's. Whenever I have a third eye, that, yeah, it's your third eye, but keep an eye open in the back of your head, right? That's to keep an eye in the back of your head. It's also for your third eye activation. Somebody can be cooking stew. Somebody's a stud here. Well, yeah, that's this one. This one thinks they're a stud. But really, I'm going to tell you they're crud. They are. Okay, um, let me see. Yeah, look at this stud. What, is that? what the hell? Uh, so you have two T's, a D, S, C, J, Q. Two A's, three I's, two E's, and a U. Thank you very much, guys. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God. Karma is real. Till next time, love, light, and laughter.